Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here, and welcome back to another episode of my Oakland Raiders Connected Franchise Mode here on Madden 16. We have reached week number 6, that means it's a bye week, and that means we have no gameplay for you this week, but I am going to take the opportunity to basically just go around the league, see what's happening with your Raiders and the rest of the NFL, standings, scouting, um, stats, stuff like that, and our schedule for the rest of the year. So, looking at the overall NFL, the Ravens are 5-0, tied with the Packers and the Colts, who are all 5-0, and the Dolphins are 4-0. Atop of the NFL, and we're just going to be going through now, Ravens and Colts leading in the NFC, Packers in the um, NFC, and basically, we're looking pretty good. Um, our, our, our record isn't good, it's it's, it's below 500, um, but at the same time, we're not looking too bad. Two and three, we were third out of fourth in the AFC West, and if you look at the past couple of years, really, we just... We've gotten a little bit better. Um, we have a very good running back in Latavius Murray, and in the past couple of years, especially last year, starting out 0-10, um, it took a while to get our first win, um, so it's good to see two wins in the first five games of the season. I know that's not a good record, but we're just looking to improve as a team, and that's what we're going to do. So, that is that. Bottom of the NFL, you see the Giants, Lions, Rams, and Buccaneers all at 0-5, winless after five games. And the Giants right now would have the first overall pick. As far as the schedule goes, we know we beat the Bengals in overtime in week number one. Then we lost to the Ravens in week number two. We traveled to Cleveland and faced the Browns in week number three, where Johnny Menzel, um, in a shootout, came back at the last second and beat us. So that means our record is one and two. We made it two and two with a win in week number four against the Bears, 31-21, a solid performance. And then last week we just faced the Broncos, which we lost at home. So a little disappointing. Our record is two and three. After five weeks, week number six, we have a bye week. And then after that, we go to uh, not Chicago. <laughs> we go to San Diego and face the Chargers. Then we're back at home against the New York Jets. Then we go to Pittsburgh against the Steelers. Then we come back home, face the Vikings. Then we're on the, we're on the road for two against the Lions and Titans. Home against the Chiefs. Away versus the Broncos. Then here against the Packers and Chargers. And then to finish off the season, week 17, we're in Kansas City. So, here are the passer ratings for all the quarterbacks. Bruce Gradkowski for the... Um, basically, I guess not the backup because he's, or he is the backup because um, it looks like Ben Roethlisberger got injured. Anyways, Andrew Luck is going to get the league leader in passing yards through six weeks with about 1,700. As far as touchdown goes, Blake Bortles and Aaron Rodgers leading the way with 14 apiece interceptions. Alex Smith leads the league in getting intercepted. Eight interceptions on the year for him. So not a good year uh, for Kansas City. They are last in the AFC West. You see Derek Carr, though, also has six. Uh, aside from that, he's doing pretty decent, but we'd like to see some more production out of him. Colin Kaepernick has the longest pass of the year at 89. Blake Bortles isn't too far behind. Eli Manning has been sacked 28 times. That may be why the Giants are 0 and 5. Looking at yards, we have one of the best running backs in the league, guys. This year, Latavius Murray is leading the league in rushing yards with 570. AP is leading with about 8.7 a carry. Murray is right behind him with 6.1 a carry. So I'm really happy to have a good running back. Finally, we have one. Touchdowns. Daniel Haran has nine. Colt, or not Colt McCoy. <laughs> um, McCoy has eight touchdowns and. Um, Latavius Murray had five, I think, on that. Andre Johnson had 567 yards. He's leading. And Andre Holmes is actually leading the league in average yards per reception with 41.3. He's had a couple of long receptions out of the very few he's had. Larry Fitz tied with Miles Austin for the league leaders in touchdowns with five. And here are the scouted players just going through. Basically, I'm just going through the top positions, scouting them. I'm getting to the point now where I'm... Getting those guys, I know who's going to be in the first round, I know who's not going to be in the first round, but um, I'm trying to now find some steals in the later rounds that we can pick in rounds two or three. So um, looking at our team, I think, yeah, we need a right guard there. You see it is a D, but um, yeah, just going to look for those steals, trying to, um, I guess, fill in those holes that the Raiders have always been needing. So really having fun playing this mode. We are in week number seven now. We're going to San Diego against the 3-3 three three Chargers, and if we win this game, you know what? We could be passing the Chargers in the standings. You never know. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Come back next week for week number seven against Phillip Rivers and the Chargers. Peace.